Hello, welcome. My name's Susie and I like to go shopping. I like makeup, I like unboxings, I like all kinds of stuff. And what I have kind of been like, I don't know, thinking about lately is the other stores that are like dollar stores that aren't the Dollar Tree. I really like the Dollar Tree. I'm very partial to them. And I have, I don't know, maybe it's a misconception. I don't like Family Dollar. I have I refused to go into Family Dollar before. I don't know why. I just have it in my head that Family Dollar is awful. And I finally sucked it up and went in there and I actually was kind of surprised. My initial like Family Dollar reaction was, wow, this place is a pigsty. And also nothing is organized and the stuff in the aisles didn't make sense. Like there was kids stuff and food and cards in one aisle, but then there was more food in a different aisle, and then there was baby stuff in another aisle, and there was toys in a different aisle, but in the same aisle as the toys, there was like bathroom stuff, and like, what's going on? So there wasn't really like any organization, at least at the one by my house, and the Dollar Tree I usually go to is very tidy and organized, and it's well lit, and I don't know, it just seems like a nicer place. They're like next to each other, they're very close together, <laughs> and I just always actively refused to go into the family dollar but I finally went and I was actually kind of pleasantly surprised about the prices because it's not like the dollar store where everything is a dollar and definitely some of the things that I found in the family dollar were overpriced like you could get a better deal at Walmart or Target or in the Dollar Tree for some of the items but some of the other items I found were actually a pretty good deal they're like clearance stuff which is like weird to me to have a dollar store with clearance in it was actually a good price i was surprised and there were even some things that were like real brands i was like oh okay if you're willing to dig through the family dollar you can find some neat stuff so here is my family dollar bag and i will show you what i found the first thing i found is from the reduce section and I don't know what the regular price was because it's kind of covered up. Um, I think they were $2.75, but now they are $0.75, cents, and it's this pack of 12 hair clips. And there's the clear, the black, that kind of like weird like multi-shaded brown one, and then more black. And I have the big clips that are like this that I will sometimes use to pull my hair up, but sometimes I don't want to pull all of it up, but I just want like this like front bangy stuff to be back. So I got some of these. They're pretty good sized. And I mean, I feel like if I lose them or break them, I won't be sad, especially because the whole 12 of them was 75 cents. You know what I mean? So I picked these up, but I was kind of happy that I found them. I was like, oh, okay, that's pretty decent, I would say. And in the Dollar Tree, even though I love them, a three of these is a dollar. So I feel like I did way better with this. The other thing that I found there that I really kind of like is this stupid little candle. <laughs> it's a Betty Crocker salted caramel brownie candle and it was a dollar and it smells amazing. Super awesome, very nice. It is in a little glass jar and I love candles, but you can see it's in this little glass jar. And I love candles and I usually do get candles at the Dollar Tree or sometimes I'll pick up the jar candles at Michael's and every now and again on a rare occasion I'll buy a Yankee candle but they're wicked expensive for what they are but this smells so good <laughs> this is really nice smelling and it was a dollar they had also angel food cake which just smelled like vanilla and they had a bunch of other candles that weren't these like box Betty Crocker candles and to be completely honest with you, for half of a second when I saw it at first, I thought it was like a mug cake and it was a candle. I'm like, oh, perfect. And it's a dollar, so that's pretty good. And it says that it's made in the USA. And this has like a nice, pretty thick glass. So yeah, that's pretty cool for a dollar, right? Not bad at all. I will also mention that the makeup section, section is a loose term because it was in a few places around the store was way nicer than in the Dollar Tree. In the Dollar Tree, basically everything is like crunch stuff and like people touch it. You know what I mean? They rip up the packaging and I'm like, mm, I don't like Dollar Tree makeup because I just don't feel good using it. I don't think that it works out well for me. 
but I did find a couple of lip colors and I got these they were normally five dollars and they were on sale for 75 cents they're not expired or anything I checked all of that to make sure and I found this one is called, called oh so shiny radiant and it's kind of like a dark purple pink and I also found this one and it's a bit of a darker color compared to the other one and again it's also a shimmer lipstick and this one is called dazzle and it's a super dark red the family dollar also had like a variety of makeup brands they had the wet and wild not wet and wild they had the la colors and they had um, maybelline they had some revlon they had something else i don't remember and they had a couple i think of like maybe what was their store brand and the prices kind of ranged um like the more expensive things were maybe 13 or 14 dollars and then like this 75 cent lipstick is the least expensive thing i could find but we'll pop it open really quick oh i'm kind of surprised i didn't think there would be this much product inside so it does have quite a bit of product i really thought for sure that it was maybe only gonna have that much <laughs> and it looks like it's a nice color i guess since we're here i'll try it on so there it is on i will say that if you can like kind of see in here probably not i don't think the camera's gonna pick it up but there's like little glitters almost in this so it's kind of pretty I do like the color, but I usually prefer to have a darker lip color. I don't like the light colors or like concealer lips. I'm not into that at all. Um, it's very buttery. It feels very moisturizing. All in all, I feel like the regular like $5 price was pretty good and the 75 cent price was even better. Yeah, here is the darker color and this lighter color is probably super pretty as well. I also picked up these lashes because when I was in the Dollar Tree, I found lashes. But this is Kiss Lashes and they were $1.75 and that's a pretty good price because if you go into like Ulta's or Sephora or whatever or even Walmart and you buy Kiss Lashes, I feel like they're usually like five or six, seven or dollars and they were $1.75 and they weren't even on clearance. It is one pair. This is the, the flirty shape and I thought that they compared pretty well to the ones I had found in the Dollar Tree. So I know Kiss is like a real brand and the other brand was like a never heard of it before, but it seemed kind of legit. So just wanted to like say, hey, look, I found something kind of comparable for a similar price. So like 75 more cents to have a name brand, I feel like was pretty okay. What is like a little bit creepy about these to me though, is it says 100% human hair. And I don't know if that's like normal. I don't know. It seemed a little creepy, but I don't wear lashes super often. So I guess I don't know too much about like the different like synthetics or fibers or whatever they use to make them. This one also did not come with any lash glue, but that's fine because I really like duo lash glue and I already have it. So the other thing I found in the Family Dollar that I was kind of surprised to find were these two palettes, and I feel like they're pretty good size. So I found a cool one and a rose one, and so it's got warmer colors. So it's got like some really pretty pinks and reds. I have a lot of colors that are already like this, but I picked the both of them up because I'm gonna save this for a giveaway because I'm getting pretty close to having 100 subscribers and when I get there, I wanna have a giveaway. And I already have a lot like this and I like these kinds of colors so I thought I'd pick this one up and put it in the giveaway with a bunch of other stuff that I'll pick out soon. Um, so yeah, I was like, I'll get this and I'll save it because I'm getting so close and I'm getting excited. So that's really cool. But it has some pretty shades, but I don't know if you can really see in this one. I'll show you on the other one because I'm gonna open it. It has like two highlighters, um, four crease shades, and four lid shades. So it kind of like helps you make a eye look if you're not like sure which colors to put where. I'll open this one and keep it because I don't really have a whole lot of cool colors and I'm really into like these purples and blues right now lately. So we're gonna pop this one open and kind of get a closer look at it. So it's got 10 little colors and it also has one of these little spongy applicator things in it. And now you might be able to see like a little bit better it says in the middle row, lid, 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 and then there's some crease colors, and then two highlight colors as well. Yeah, I think the light's catching it pretty well right now, so you guys can see that. The other one is like that also, so that's kind of helpful if you're not, like, super confident about makeup. And I definitely like that, just because I feel like it makes it easy. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch these, and maybe I'll try to use this little spongy guy to put it on my eyes and see what I can come up with since we're already here. So here are the two highlight colors. They are pretty light.
they're on my wrist right now, but I don't think that you can really see them. Maybe the top one a little bit. And now I'll try the four lid colors. So here are the gold and pink. They're also a little bit lighter. They both have really nice shimmer in them, so that's kind of nice. Let's get this kind of gray color. It's like a gray blue. And we'll get the purple as well. The purple is a little bit like lighter. It doesn't have a whole lot of pigment. But you could probably use the gray and black to make like a classic smoky eye. And there is the purple and then the gray. So they're a little bit darker than all of the other ones we've tried so far. So I'm going to grab this like coppery crease color because I, I love that color. <laughs> and I'll get the darker purple as well. So we'll try the two that are in the bottom corner over there. So there is the copper and the darker purple. Now we'll get the blue, which is very pigmented as well as the black and those are much darker and there they are as well so yeah the highlights are super light up on the top of my wrist you can't really see them along with the first two like lid colors but all of the other colors come out pretty pigmented hello Susie of the future here and basically what I did was I went over to a mirror because I could not see what I was doing at all and what I got on my eyes right now is uh, I used this highlighter here on the inner corners just like a little tiny bit and I used this lip color all over and then I used the gray on top of it and I took a bit of this lighter purple color and kind of put it on the inside corner as well and I put the black all around in the crease so it's very dark and then I used just a plain black eyeliner I had from Urban Decay and I used the duo eyelash glue to put on these little kiss lashes so I feel like they're staying pretty well I, I just am not used to wearing them so I can like I don't know they're in my peripheral vision <laughs> I didn't have to trim them at all and I feel like I could wear them all day and it would be fine. It just would take a little bit of getting used to. I don't feel like I have really the best lighting to kind of show you what is on my face right now because all of the light is behind me. <laughs> Everything to me, at least just right now, looks really dark and I don't think you can tell that I have anything on aside from black. But that's kind of what I found at the Family Dollar. So overall the store is overwhelming and very disorganized, but I will say I did find some nice-ish makeup. I was kind of surprised because usually I don't buy Dollar Tree makeup because it's always too sketchy for me. <laughs> but I found some nice stuff and these little clippy guys are going to be super helpful and I love the heck out of this candle. So that's pretty cool. So I guess that my little misconception, it wasn't like 100% wrong that it's not like the most clean organized place, but they didn't have bad stuff. Some of the stuff was definitely overpriced like they wanted $2.95 for a can of Arizona tea which was, I think, ridiculous. <laughs> and they also had the White Claws. I like White Claws, sorry. Uh, and they wanted a lot of money for those too. Like the case of them, the 12 pack that you can normally get for like 13 or $14 was $18.95. I'm like, excuse me? <laughs> no, I will be at Walmart, thank you. Or even Publix is less expensive than that. And that's saying something because Publix is a pretty expensive grocery store if you ask me. In a few days or something like that, I probably will head over to the Dollar General to see what I can find there. But I now know that I can buy makeup at Family Dollar and not much else. Maybe a candle every now and again. Probably will also make a trip to the Five and Below because that's kind of like a dollar-ish store. I know they have stuff that's more than $5 in there, but we'll, we'll see. We'll go there a different day. But thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video. I really, really appreciate it. If you could take a moment to hit like or subscribe, that'd be really awesome. And until I have another video up, I'll talk to you guys all later. Bye!